first of all, Sean, uh, well bowled today. You, you look shattered when you come. Was it hard work out there? Um, well, you just sort of from the position we were in, we sort of had to come out hard and give it everything we had. Um, so it's, it was a, a long 50 overs, definitely, just trying to put everything into it. And I think we've come out in a decent enough position. Uh, what was the what was the feeling in the dressing room all out for 150? I mean, a, about the track and the way Sussex batted. Uh, well, we sort of knew uh, at the toss that it would be a good toss to win and bowl first. Um, so it was, we knew it was going to be hard. And even when we rule out, there was still belief in there that we could, you know, get them to a position where they are now. You know, 170 for seven. So I think you know it was a great toss to win for them, but it was a good you know fight back not to put ourselves down after sort of uh, 150 all out and really give it a go. Yeah, and a feeling you're still very much in the game, I guess, Sean. Absolutely, because you see the pitch, the pitch is going to get better as the as the game goes on, maybe bring some spin in. Um, so we'll just have to try and get the next three wickets as quickly as possible and then pile on some runs and get past them. The innings of the day from, from Joe Root. What, what, what's it like to, to bowl against Joe, Sean? Um surreal really considering I've watched him you know for it play for England for for years so it's you understand why he's one of the best because he sort of made it look like a different pitch out there the way he played so it's um it's pretty nice to see but also frustrating because you obviously want to get him out as cheaply as possible but he played very well is it intimidating bowling at all right Joe or does it motivate you when you're but you know one of the best batters in the world yeah a bit of both really because I think you know Personally, I would have loved to got him out. You know, it's that bit of extra, extra incentive. But you know, it's still, it's obviously going to be hard from how good he is, how many runs he scored. So it's, it is, it's an added bonus. You know, you try a bit harder because of how good, how good he really is. You've had to be very patient this season to wait for your, your, your chance. Sure, what, what, what's, what, what's that been like? Waiting, waiting for the call, and then it comes. Um, that's, you know, it's, it's been all right because the team's been going very well. So. You know, it's hard to to get into a a winning team, a dominant team, with um, how well everyone's been playing. So I've just been trying to do my best in the second team um, and just keep knocking down the door and got my opportunity. So it was, it was nice to come out and play uh, play here today. And when that chance comes, does it feel as if it brings a little more pressure? You're thinking, well, I'm in now, but I've I've got to prove myself. Uh, definitely, especially with how I said how we're playing this season we're you know a very dominant team and we're playing some really good cricket so you want to you know come in and and keep that going you don't want to sort of let the team down um in such a way by not being up to speed so you know it's it's been it's been hard um because obviously you want to play at all times especially with how well we've been playing but you know definitely nice to be back out there um, let's talk about your time over the winter as well. Cause you spent some time away, obviously, with Sussex and India. What, what was that like, John? Because you, you know, you're out in India. Obviously, you, had, you know, Joff Archer was out there as well. What's that like having Joff around? Uh, it's nice. You know, he's he's always giving you a few things um, to work on, a few tips. You know, because he's one of the best as well. So you know, we're very lucky here with um, Ollie as well. Had Ollie today. He's always helping me, giving me a few things. And and Joff in India. You know, it was, it was nice to to get out there and speak to him and also with the the bit of white ball we played and try and pick his brains there so it's it's very good to have the the people that we do here and I may be completely wrong this may be a one word answer have you shortened your run no sort of so <laughs> oh not a stupid question no no just uh I just take a step and run instead of you know walk into my run up um just to try and help me over striding because of you know last year I had a boulder a fair few number of no balls. So. Oh, is that, is that what it is? That was yeah, just to try and stop me overstriding, get into the crease and, and get to a stronger position and hopefully bowl a bit quicker. Yeah, and is, is a little bit of that as well from working with James as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we, we sort of... Well, I was actually quite lucky how it came about. We were bowling at Leicester in the nets and I had to shorten my run-up because of the, the surroundings there. So just came out nicely then, so we kind of used that and have, have gone from there, really. And, and your fitness, Sean, you look, you, you look really fit, I guess. You know, it's county champion tomorrow. We've got to rest up and, and back out tomorrow. No, exactly. So I'll probably get home, watch some golf and get ready to come out again tomorrow and hopefully get you know, the next three wickets that we need. Which prompts another question. Are you a keen golfer? Uh, yes. I try you play off? Play a lot. Uh, 12 at the moment. Right. But a dodgy 12 because I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, not a dodgy three wickets. Well bowled today, Sean. Thanks, uh, many congratulations. Thank you very much.